welcome back. Juan, the lead developer of the Godot engine, has put out some tweets concerning the financial status of the Godot engine. He says that Godot is fully funded up to the Godot 4.0 release, thanks in large part to donations and grants. But after that, sometime next year, Godot will not have enough funding to keep most of the team hired. The team discussed some possible solutions to this problem on the subreddit. A common suggestion is an official Godot marketplace, where the Godot team takes a percentage of every purchase made. Godot has a strong association with free and open source, so some people may be hesitant with taking this avenue. My perspective is that there will always be an abundance of free assets. Adding the option for paid assets will only result in more and higher quality assets coming to the Godot engine. Another option they discussed was going the way of the Asprite Steam version. Asprite is open source and can be compiled for free, but the Steam version is paid. Most people are willing to pay for convenience. A popular suggestion is official Godot merch. It seems like everyone in the Godot community must tell you they use Godot. Another option is for the Godot team to make a game themselves to promote the engine. Blender did something similar when they made the short film Elephant Dreams and it really helped put Blender on the map. The team also discussed adding official paid courses, doing sponsored streams, and even doing kickstarters for adding specific features. The Go Godot Jam has an official article on the Godot website. The Go Godot Jam is being started by Adrian, a game developer from Stockholm, Sweden, who co-organizes the event with a group of Godot creators. Go Godot Jam is a one month long community festival that culminates with the game jam. The weeks before the jam there will be pre-jam events. Creators will be streaming tutorials and Q&As about the Godot engine. You can read more about Adrian's background and why he started the Go Godot Jam in the full article. The Go Godot Jam is open to everyone. I will link the jam sign up in the description description. Speaking of game jams, the Godot Wild Jam number 32 has started. This jam's theme is You Aren't the Hero. The three optional wild cards are Fully Immersed, Make Your Menus and UI Be Part of the Game World, Transmutation, You Can't Kill Enemies, Only Change Them, and Getting Rich, Include a Form of Currency in Your Game. Long before the Kickstarter has ended, Oddventure has been fully funded. Oddventure is a lore-rich, turn-based, crazy RPG set in a cursed fairy tale world. I will link the Kickstarter and the free demo in the description. Export Categories is a Godot add-on to organize your exported variables. You can define titles and group the exported variables under them. Godot Remote is a project that allows you to develop your game on a desktop or laptop, then stream the game to your phone or tablet to quickly test the touch input, accelerometer, or gyroscope on your mobile device. Tim Krief has made a Godot add-on that allows you to create an audio stream player that randomly plays an array of similar sounds. Think of things like footstep sounds in a video game. Even if the character is walking on the same surface, ideally, the footstep sounds would have some variety so it ends up sounding more organic. Kmit has showed off some cool lightning VFX in his project Sandfire. If anyone ever asks if a Godot is capable of good 3D graphics, show them this game. The faceless city is cursed by a malignancy that steals the faces of its inhabitants. Gamitate is designed to make you feel calmer, happier, and more peaceful. Enjoy the benefits of a wide variety of easy meditation techniques. During its journey, Starboy crashed and got lost in an unknown planet. Help him return back to its spaceship. Brutal Castle is an epic beat-em-up about a fire-breathing living castle which outrageously fights against giant monsters to survive in a cruel medieval world in the war of all against all. That's all for you this week. Gently tap the like button, leave a comment for the algorithm. Thanks for watching.